Remember, a can action has two functions. It can autofill a predefined response and perform changes to ticket properties, such as the status or the priority of the ticket. Let's create a canned action by navigating to the main menu at the top left here and selecting canned actions under the automate module. Let's click create a canned action and begin by entering the content of the message that will be added when applying that canned action. You'll notice that you can also insert merge fields or placeholders. This way you can pull in information directly from the ticket into your canned response. For example, if we want the contact name to be included after the word hi, I can choose that merge field, select contact name, and it'll pre-fill the contact's name once I choose the reply. On the next page, we can now choose which ticket properties need to be updated, like the status, the priority, and even the assignee. On the last page, you can finish off by creating a name for your canned action adding a description for your agents to view, choosing the appropriate category this can action will be related to, and selecting if the can action is visible to everybody on your team or just you. Once we hit finish, we can now view the can action. Back on the can actions page, you can also view, edit, delete, and clone existing can actions. And if you have a long list of canned actions, you can search on the search bar up here at the top or filter down by choosing examples like category association or who it's visible to. To export your canned actions into a CSV or an Excel file, select the export option up here. Please note only agents with managed canned actions permission can view these options. To view more information about can actions, please visit support.happyfox.com. <music>